Well, Hillary Clinton certainly is feeling the burn. That's because her Democratic challenger, Bernie Sanders, is igniting a flame of voter support. He's passed her just now in Iowa. In some polls, he's actually ahead of her also in New Hampshire. Take a look at this. This is the Quinnipiac. Uh, Bernie at 49% uh, of the Democratic support. Hillary Clinton, uh, 44%. And I got to tell you something. Back in December, that same survey showed Clinton at 51%. Sanders way back at 40%. Joining me now, Tammy Bruce, Julie Rigensky, and Mark Serrano. Uh, Julie, let me start with you. Uh, any, any sense of panic? Because we've seen this movie before. Yeah, I'm having deja vu. Uh, panic, I don't know. Uh, concern, definitely. And would Joe Biden. Well, there's no panic. Shouldn't there be? I, Should there be? I don't think there should be. Really? I mean, well, you know, look, first of all, both New Hampshire and Iowa are not representative necessarily of the Democratic coalition. South Carolina is more representative, but it's more minority representative, and that's part of the Democratic coalition. As Super Tuesday happens, the southern states vote, Florida votes, Nevada votes. That's more representative of what Democrats across the country look like, what that coalition looks Al like. So, although, yes. although if, if Bernie Sanders were the winner, it adds credence mm -hmm. to the idea that a lot of Democrats are ready to cross the aisle in a general election in November. Yeah, there is a legitimacy that Iowa can bestow, and that's what it did for Barack Obama in 2008. It sent a message to the nation that, oh, we can take this guy seriously. That was the problem. Now, Hillary won all the big states in 2008. Barack Obama won a co collection of caucuses and other smaller primaries. But what mattered was the enthusiasm that was built up for a man that was virtually unknown versus the guaranteed winner nominee, uh, Hillary Clinton. She's at risk of the same thing happening, but the bigger risk is what are the stories that will come out about the, from the FBI, from the DOJ, about not just the emails, of course, but about the personal enrichment with the foundation. That's the real risk. Let me just say this. Barack Obama did incredibly well with minority voters who are... A, mm key component of But the, he did uh, win Iowa. He, he did. He but surprised let me just, the world. It he, was sort of like Ali did. But, but listen yeah, to what right. I'm telling you. He, he did incredibly well with minority voters. He did Bernie well with Sanders, women. He did well with young Bernie, people. Bernie Sanders, but, but I'm telling you what part of the Democratic coalition is that's critical is minority voters. She, right now, according to every poll, it could change, but she right now is killing Bernie Sanders among minority voters. You cannot win a Democratic the primary. The problem is, though, is, the, is if those them. people are coming out for those two individuals, sure. and they won't. So the numbers There's will the be The same down. level of enthusiasm obviously won't be there as it was for Barack Obama. Yeah. You know, uh, Mark Serrano, I want to bring you in because on CNN, uh, with CNN, uh, Bernie, uh, Joe Biden, rather, uh, talked about Bernie Sanders in the most glowing way. He said he speaks to a yearning that is deep, that it's real, and he's credible on it. He went on to say, no question, Bernie's authenticity on those issues. I mean, he talked about the realness of Bernie Sanders, which illuminates a real serious problem for Hillary Clinton. She's driven in limos for the last 20 years. She is detached from the average person, whether she wants to admit it or not, and this could be the end of her career. Charles, make no doubt about it. Those comments from Vice President Biden were very calculated. You know, it's no mistake that he's talking about these things, largely because the elite of the party are in a panic. They're concerned about an indictment. They are looking at the polling. Look, that shift in polling shifted 16 points in a month against Hillary Clinton. That, the, look at the trend line. The trend is not good. Bernie Sanders is sitting on 20 plus million dollars, and that guy is in this race for a while. Let me tell you what Joe Biden's comments looked like to me. Do you remember the ad in 2012 against Paul Ryan with him throwing Granny in the wheelchair over the, the, sure. the ledge, you know, the cliff? Yeah. That, this is like that. You know, Grandma Hillary is being pushed over the ledge by uh, Joe Biden. That's by what this looks party. like to me. Yeah. That, there, that she's at risk. She is a big risk as a candidate. And let me tell you, Joe Biden's bags are packed. He's ready to go. If she melts down, if Bernie Sanders takes the lead, uh, well, you know, in the early you know what, races. Mark? You're, 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 you know what? That's not far fetched. He's already dropping these hints left and right that he regrets not running. And I still don't think right. the establishment wants to rally around. Bernie Sanders, although the grassroots right. may